Okay, uh, let us continue. Uh, because I am using Zoom, every 40 minutes we will be disconnected. And I think you, will, you are not disconnecting in any way. I am the only one being disconnected because I am the host of the Zoom. So I have plenty of uh, books, but I cannot choose this book. Because I cannot use these books because uh, they are what? So many pages. I need to use something about uh, 100 pages or less because we are just what? Two, two hours per week subject. No? So like this. So 2019, date of 20. I don't know. So maybe later on, later in a future uh, meetings, next meeting, I will uh, uh, prepare. I will set up uh, another camera for uh, books. No. Okay, uh, let us uh, just uh, continue. Again, uh, sharing the same screen. So we are through with this. Disciplinary foundations of megatronics, mechanical, engineering, electrical engineering, computer engineering, computer information systems. So all of this contributes. So imagine uh, having projects that have so many of these, okay? So this will not be uh, complete without this minimum, this minimum, okay? These are the minimum knowledge that we have to gain. However, for example, that's what, one of the ways why PLC is uh, very popular because you don't need to know anything about electrical. You don't know to need anything about computer. You don't need to know anything about information system. So you just have to know mechanical and how to program, how to connect the wires. That is the only thing you need to know. So the in that way, uh, PLC has the most popular application in mechatronics. But actually, 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 uh, PLC is not actually uh, started as a mechatronics. PLC did not start as mechatronics. PLC is not a mechatronics application before. Uh, because of integration to other system. So PLC became an integral part of mechatronics nowadays, nowadays, okay? So because of integration to other system. But before, that is not what uh, PLC started for. PLC started as a control mechanism for uh, equipments and mechanical system like what uh, like uh, uh, distribution system of materials production line uh, automation manufacturing plant so those are some of the things but uh, the highest, the highest uh, form of megatronics is using microprocessor 
like uh, like uh, i will show you some of the pictures later i i have a microprocessor here that i can connect to control something okay i uh, i am made up i made the uh, motherboard i made the uh, uh, wiring um, that is uh, actually temporary temporary wiring motherboard and then uh, i made it to be a general purpose control mechanism okay uh, i program it as an assembly language low level programming because low level programming advantages what speed accuracy precision no so that's why i program it at assembly language and no one is doing that nowadays no one will program in assembly language nowadays no one will do it do that they will what they will uh, do programming in machine language in uh, in plc language for example in uh, high high level language for example c language is one of them basic language c language sometimes uh, pascal and ladder diagram is a very popular language when you are talking of control system ladder diagram is also being used in plc okay ladder diagram okay so they are the popular application nowadays no one will program in assembly language nowadays but assembly language is the most precise and accurate because of the speed okay what are the mechatronics based products okay systems engineering allows design analysis and synthesis of products and processes involving components from multiple disciplines so usually project team kayo team kayo isang anong team kayo iba't iba yung engineering discipline nyo okay that is usual no uh, megatronics exploit system engineering to guide the product realization process from design model simulate analyze refine prototype validate and deploy cycle uh, okay so computer engineering information system are integrated with the use of what mechanical mechanism electrical uh, devices okay uh, so that final products can be better than the sum of its parts this is the definition of syn synergy this is the definition of synergy the sum of its part is uh, greater than the part itself what are the parts one plus one what is the sum three oh, three is greater than the parts okay so this is the definition of synergy okay megatronic system is not simply a multidisciplinary system it is not simply an electromechanical system okay it is not just a control system embedded system are also being popular increasingly nowadays using microprocessor oh this is the design process for mechatronics okay this is the design process first modeling simulation recognition of the need concept modular modeling sensor and actuator selection and then detailed modeling control system design meaning you have to integrate sensor and actuator to your system and design optimization afterwards you have to op optimize okay so meaning you are testing you are what um uh doing the all the connection doing all the programming and then seeing it 
operate by looking, by observing, and then your observation will uh, suggest what? Improvement. So, your improvement has a limitation. There are plenty full of limitation in real life. Like what? Money. Your budget. Okay? That is a, a realistic limitation because uh, if we do not have limitation of money, then we can buy the most expensive one and the most uh, popular or the best product or the most accurate, okay, the uh, fastest, okay, so we are uh, limited by budget, we are limited by money, okay, so that's why we have to choose optimum, optimum meaning we have to, to uh, take a look on the disadvantage and advantage of different sides and decide on what is the most appropriate for the particular application and limitation? Prototyping afterwards. Okay? After testing, you can uh, prototype uh, simulation. Uh, this is somewhat different in uh, US uh, engineering perspective. This is a uh, uh, Japan engineering perspective. Testing by models using computer and simulating it. You have the hardware already here, but still you test it. That is called simulation. You are uh, not just testing it, but doing the uh, inputs and output as if in real application. That is what we call simulation. Uh, design optimization, then again, after optimizing in the modeling, we have to optimize after prototyping so that we can develop a better product. So the deploy, deployment of embedded software. So this is what we what I said a while ago. Embedded system are, are now uh, very much popular, particularly, for example, uh, the current, the current uh, election machines are uh, mechatronics application. The uh, election machines, the ballot, uh, the ballot, uh, what? The ballot box machines is now automated enough. It can release output. It can release uh, the count of votes already. Okay, using sensor using a mecha mechanism, okay? Okay, so that is an actual application of uh, mechatronics, the ballot counting machine of Comelec, okay? Which is actually an embedded system. That is called embedded system. That is not a PLC system. That is not a um, computer system, but it is an embedded system, okay? So, therefore, we can now define what is an embedded system. Embedded system is a system for in all of those, all of those pieces are now put together to form another uh, unit, what we call, for example, ballot box machine. Ballot box machine is one unit, okay? Wherein, if you uh, disassemble the ballot box machine, you can see mechanical system, electronic system, computer system, okay? And so on, okay? So, so that is the form of embedded system. You are designing the physical, the conceptual and holistic design into a single unit. Okay? So you can see the difference between an embedded system and, for example, a PLC system that we are shown a while ago. 
wherein we can show, sir, this is the PLC, Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi is a single unit. This is a single unit. Another single unit, sir, this is a, a series of push button. Another single unit, which is separate, separate from one another. Another single unit is what? The, uh, what? the cylinder. Okay. Another one. That is not the case when you are talking of ballot box counting machine. Ballot box counting machine is one single unit. Okay? That is the difference. No? So, uh, embedded and uh, otherwise. Okay? So, mechatronics nowadays are more and more becoming embedded. Embedded system. Like what? Like uh, not only the ballot counting machine, like the the ATM, ATM machine. In Japan, there is a precision given to what vending machine. Did you already experience vending machine? Vending machines are uh, invented in Japan. Japan is the country with the most number of vending machine. Everything can be bought in the vending machine. Everything. Tell me anything. Tell me any product that can be bought in a vending machine in Japan. There is no sari-sari store in Japan. There is no, no small store. Uh, always uh, what? Department store, malls, okay? and vending machine. Okay? For example, you need to buy small things. Okay? There is always a vending machine for that. Okay? And vending machine is a good example of an embedded system, which is mechatronics. Okay? Mechatronics. It has an output. Okay? Okay? It, it gives you the product. Okay? Gives you the product. So, and precision and accuracy. Why? Because if there is no precision and accuracy, you will uh, have a financial losses. Who will take financial losses because of money being inputted to the bidding machine must be read correctly. Okay? Imagine if uh, uh, one peso coin would be read by the machine as five pesos. Imagine the financial losses. Okay? Or you generate what? Peak. You generate peak uh, coins and then try it on the bidding machine. Take a try, try on the bidding machine. Uh, use, for example, a random random uh, piece of wood or piece of metal. Use a random piece of metal that uh, you can create with the same size and shape of uh, 10 peso, 10 peso coin. And then try it on the vending machine. Uh, or a uh, 5 peso coin. Try it on the vending machine. Okay? So, so that way, that way you can uh, you can evaluate the performance of bending machine. If the bending machine is a high performing application, right? So those are machines that uh, counts money in the bank. They are mechatronics application. In the uh, bank counter. There is a what money counting machine that is a mechatronic system. Okay, automatic. So semi automatic, automatic. Okay, they would count. But all their money counting machine are just counter. But um, new counting machines really take note if the. Uh, piece of paper is just a fake or a real money. Okay? 
that is some sort of a check on the new counting machine, no? So, because a bundle of money, you can what? You can insert, for example, five pieces of bond paper. Five pieces of bond paper, and uh, if uh, you are counting 1,000, so five pieces of bond paper will cost what? What? A loss of 5,000. Uh, because one piece is 1,000, and you inserted five pieces of uh, bond paper. Okay? So you will have a loss of 5,000 already. Uh, and try it. Try it on the bank teller. Try it on the bank teller. Insert. Insert the bond paper on a bundle of money and let them count. You can try it. Uh, I don't know if... <laughs> but before you try it, you have to ask permission of the bank teller because I don't know if that is a criminal offense. I don't know if that is a criminal offense. If you get caught without telling the uh, teller, the bank teller, maybe you will be criminally held liable. Okay? Uh, that's why you have to inform before testing it. Okay? Evaluation of mechatronics as a contemporary design. So mostly industrial application. It started in uh, industrial application, semiconductor, because these things are what? Mass production. We are producing. I work in Japan in a manufacturing uh, field as a production engineer, supervisor. We are producing hundreds of thousands of pieces per day. We are delivering abroad hundreds of thousands of pieces per day. So mechatronics application is relevant right? because of that mass production. Allow design of products and processes of energy conversion and transmission, thus allowing the use of energy to do useful work. Engineering designs of this era were largely mechanical. Purely mechanical system, suffer from power, amplification, and ability. So these are common troubles, energy losses, tolerances. So meaning inaccurate, no? Inertia, friction. Okay? Usually mechanical system with uh, tolerances are what? Uh, cylinders, gears, cams. No? They have tolerances, no? Pit outs, uh, bearings. So those are the mechanical system with tolerance. And friction. Okay? Example of predominantly mechanical designs. Float bulb. Float bulb. This float bulb uh, is usually used in what? Automatic uh, flush of uh, toilet bowl. Flashing of toilet bowl, automatic. Okay. It could be mechanical, no? And if you use some electronic parts and automate it, it is now becoming what? Becoming uh, mechatronics application. And in fact, Japan is the number one country in the world with a beautiful and high technology uh, CR, toilet and bathroom. Take a look at the Japanese uh, CR, toilet and bathroom. They are not just very clean. They are also what? They are also high-tech and automated. You can practically stay at the CR to take a rest. Okay. Okay, by metallic strip, what's governor, come operated switch, thermostat. These are the sensor. These, these are examples of sensors. No? Semiconductor revolution. Now going smaller and smaller. Smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay. Uh, for example, operational amplifier or op amps. This is small. Before, uh, this is a very big device. 
op amp is now very small as LM358. Okay. Semiconductor. Okay. Converter. Signal converter. Wherein the analog signal will be converted to digital signal. Meaning, it digitizes the signal uh, from one form to another using this uh, IC. Okay. Information revolution. Now, uh, most of the things can now be connected as plug and play using the what USB protocol. Using the USB protocol, we have so many things that could be uh, plugged into the computer in USB connection. Not only USB connection, nowadays we have uh, very efficient and effective connectors. It's DMI. We have this DMI connectors. We have smaller and smaller and more effective connection nowadays. Oh. Microprocessor, microcomputer, microcontroller. Micro meaning very small. Processor, processing. Computer, computes. Controller, controls. So these are devices that controls, computes, and process while they are themselves being very small. As computing hardware can be effortlessly interfaced with the real world, electromechanical systems are the interfacing problem. Huh? So we need to interface them into the decision-making controls using what? Controllers, uh, programmability, and integrated computer electrical mechanical devices. So integration problem. So integrator, integrators is a job in the Philippines, in, in the world. Example of this, okay? masterclass cam grinder. So I don't know if you can imagine this because if you are mechanical engineering third year or fourth year, you, you know, what do you mean by come? Okay. If you know what is come, this uh, object, and therefore you will understand how difficult it is okay, to have an automatic come grinder. It is very difficult. It's very difficult application. And this application, as simple as this, as, as this is, no? this application is a mechatronics application in a single dimension. One axis, one axis application. You heard about two axis, three axis, four axis, five axis, six axis automation. This is only one axis. No? So, what are the elements? Uh, in terms of mechanical, we have plenty of uh, mechanical elements. Structure, mechanism, thermofluid, hydraulic aspects of megatronic system. So, mechanical elements may include static or dynamic characteristic. It interacts with the environment. That is our purpose of mechanical uh, system, to interact with the environment become useful to us. Okay? Thermofluid, it is not uh, physical, but uh, uh, fluid. No? But still, it interacts with us. For example, refrigeration or uh, air conditioning, it interacts. Air conditioning system interacts with us, human beings, because we feel the coolness.
So that's uh, the end of our uh, today's discussion because it is already time two to four per week. So every Thursday. So we have this discussion and uh, uh, my last words would be to uh, uh, prepare or uh, search for uh, your own textbook for this subject. So there are plenty of uh, this uh, PDF uh, copy in the uh, online. You can search for PDF copy of uh, books. Any authors will do, okay? Because if you read them, they are almost the same. Okay? They are almost the same. So whatever author, whoever are the author, so you can uh, use uh, the internet to search for PDF copy. Because I uh, don't think there are so many printed copies in the uh, bookstore, for example. There are not so much books about mechatronics, particularly printed ones. There are so many copies of printed books in, again, other countries, not in our country. Okay, okay so thank you for attending. So lastly, the same person, please uh, take the screenshot of the attendance by uh, what? Uh, warning everybody to uh, open your video. Who is that? Uh, who is that student who took the picture? Who took the... Ako po, sir. Okay. Please do it again. And then uh, okay. let us... Uh,